morning friends today i am giving a lecture on differences between osi reference model and tcp ip reference model osi is nothing but open system interconnection reference model tcp ip means transmission control protocol or internet protocol so what are the differences between osi reference model and the tcp ip reference model the first difference between these two reference model is in the case of osi reference model it consists of seven layers physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and application layer in the case of tcp ip reference model there are four layers are there first one is host to network layer second one is internet layer third one is up transport layer and fourth one is application layer okay in the case of host to network layer it consists of two layers one is the physical layer and second one is data link layer this is the first difference between these two reference model and uh, second difference is in the case of osi reference model so this reference model is uh, defined before the implementation of before the implementation okay so this reference model was uh, defined before the implementation but in the case of tcp ip reference model after the protocols were implemented so then this reference model is defined okay so this reference model was defined before the implementation takes place so before developing any protocols so this model was defined once the model reference model was defined after the protocols were implemented but in the case of tcp ip reference model first reference model was defined after that the protocols were implemented so this is the second difference between uh, osi reference model and tcp ip reference model third difference the osi reference model Uh, was uh, consists of mainly three components one is a service second one is interface third one is protocol okay so these are the service interface and protocols the the osi reference model based on mainly these three components one is service second one is interface and third one is protocol but tcp ip reference model so does not Uh, clearly sub, uh, clearly distinguish between service interface and protocol it did it, it does not uh, originally clearly distinguish between so service interface and protocol okay it does not clearly explain the uh, difference or distinguish between service interface and protocol but osi reference model clearly distinguish between what is service what is interface what is protocol but tcp ip reference model does not clearly distinguish between service interface and protocol next fourth difference osi reference model gives guarantee of reliable delivery delivery of packet in the case of osi reference model so reliability is one of the uh, function from one of the functionality of transport layer okay so by using this functionality we can guarantee say that the packet is compulsory received by the uh, receiver but in the case of tcp ip reference model we cannot guarantee say that that packet is received or not because it is a connectionless service but here it is a connection oriented 
OSI reference model is uh, in the in the case of OSI reference model, the transport layer is a connection oriented service. So by using this connection oriented service, first the connection is established, then the packets that can be transferred from sender to the receiver. Once the transfer is completed, then remove the connection between sender and receiver. So by using this connection oriented service, we can guarantee say that the packet is compulsory received by the receiver. But in the case of TCP IP reference model, it is a connection less service. So we cannot guarantee say that that packet is uh, compulsory received by the receiver. So that is the fourth difference. Next one is OSI does not support internet working. So it does not support internet working, but the TCP IP reference model supports internet working because here it consists of one internet layer is there. So by using this layer, we can provide internet uh, facility. Okay, but here it does not support internet working. Next. OSI reference model is a strict layering. Okay, so the layers are compulsory uh, defined from first layer to seventh layer in its corresponding position. So we can say that it is a strict layering, but it is a loosely layered, loosely layered. That is the one of the difference. Next one is OSI reference model supports both connection oriented and connection less. Uh, services in the network layer okay in the network layer and uh, transport layer also OSA reference model supports both the connection oriented communication and the connection less communication but in the case of TCP IP reference model only connection oriented communication is there in the transport layer only connection oriented communication is there in the transport layer so next difference is it is easy to add new technologies in OSI reference model. So in the case of OS, OSI reference model, if any new technology is uh, developed, that new technology is added to the OSI reference model, it is very easy. But in the case of TCP IP reference model, so it is very difficult to add new technologies if any developed okay so these are the main differences between uh, uh, osa reference model and tcp ip reference model so the similarity between osa reference model and tcp ip reference model are so both are reference models both are reference models so both consists of three components so service interface and protocol but it, it clearly defines these three components but it does not clearly define these three components so both uh, tcp ip and uh, uh, osa reference models whether it is a connection oriented service or connection oriented communication or connectionless communications so these two types of services are provided in a, a OSA reference model and TCP IP reference model. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.